Um, the snow finally has arrived in West Michigan and had many of us finally hitting the slopes on our skis, our snowboards, maybe going sledding and with the hills seeing more action, it's a good time to refresh yourself on some key snow safety tips. And for that, we have a special guest this morning. He's a team physician for the U.S. Ski and Snowboard team. Welcome to the mix, Dr. Weirks. How yeah, are you? Great. Thank you, Todd. So you, you take care of those uh, athletes that are going to be competing in a couple years in the Olympics, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I'll, be, I'll be going out in about a week here to cover one of their events. Excellent. Yeah. So when yeah. it come, you're, as a team doctor and obviously dealing with orthopedics, this is yeah. a busy time of year for you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I love to see the snow personally, but yeah, we also do see some uh, snow-related bumps and bruises or even broken bones at times so right, let's keep people yeah. safe because yeah. that, the, I, as I'm reading over the material that we're going to talk about I, I saw three key elements and the, yeah. the first one being the weather right. okay yeah. you, you want to make sure if you're going to be out there you, you don't want to be caught out getting frostbite you want to be caught there's lots right. of different ways the weather can affect you yeah all right? absolutely. so let's talk yeah. about gear and keeping yourself warm yeah so keeping yourself warm is key and really the most important part of that is keeping your core warm okay. right because if you're not keeping your your, your core warm uh, your body's going to take away the blood from your, your distal extremities, you know, your, your toes and your fingers, and then they start to freeze. So, right. so start with the core. It doesn't matter how great yeah. that outer coat is, how yeah. warm it is. If yeah. the core is not warm, you're going to be losing heat. Right, yeah, and the key there is just thinking layers, right? So you want to have kind of a thin wicking layer so that if you do start to perspire, that's not going to just stay there against your skin. Mm -hmm. And then I like using kind of a, a mid-weight layer like a vest here uh, that I brought as, as something that's just really going to provide you a nice kind of warmth, capture that warmth as it's coming out of your body and keep that in. Mm -hmm. And then that outer layer is really is protecting you from the elements. That's protecting you from the wind and the and the and uh, anything wet like snow. So wicking, yeah. then warmth, and yeah. then protection. Yeah. The you shell. And then, you're right, and then you're good. All right. Yeah, yeah. Now let's talk about the gear. Yeah. Now, we're, now we're nice and warm. Right. We know we're not going to, you know, freeze our toshes off. All right. right. Yeah. But if, if your skis or your snowboard aren't the right size or yeah. if your boots aren't the bindings aren't right yeah you're, that's a real that's a real danger yeah absolutely I mean that's and like you point out that's the one thing you want to make sure first so you have the right size equipment you know so if the snowboards if you're standing up the snowboards and, and skis should be about in between your chin and your nose okay you know that's but, where we want it right, right there yeah. okay so right between your chin and your nose get your snowboard out or yeah. your skis and yeah. measure them right that's yeah. the easiest way to do it right yeah right? and then when it comes to those binding and, and those boots it's just as important yeah uh, boots you know you really want something comfortable Comfortable, right you want to make sure you're not going to be having pressure points or crunching your toes there because I've been in boots that just you know create a lot of pain that's no fun yeah, and then you're distracted by that and who knows what happens after that plus right. you're uncomfortable and then helmets We've had the Brain uh, Injury Association yeah. on this show a couple of times already talking yeah. about, please, you wear it on your bicycle, yeah. wear it down the slopes. Yeah, I, I think you have to wear a helmet uh, on the slopes, and particularly if you're you know, a junior or a kid. I mean, they're just so susceptible to brain injury. Mm -hmm. um, just use a helmet, preferably a new helmet, because if you get a used one, you don't know what condition it's sure. in underneath yeah. the outer shell. Um, but yeah, protect your brain. That's the most important part of your body. And then it comes to the environment. Yeah. The third element, which yeah. is those around you. Yeah. Like if Leon Town is anywhere near you, just run. <laughs> just, just get on the hill as fast as you can, right? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of variability, right, in skier, uh, how, how fast people can stop or where they're going. So, mm -hmm. yeah, if you do have to stop mid-slope, make sure you're going to the side of the slope to stop and not stopping right in the middle where somebody may just careen right into you. Now, you want more information on this. West Michigan Orthopedics is a great place to go. They've got the, the website right there on your screen. But before we leave, you said you're heading out to California here really quick for the, there's an upcoming event. They, that's right, a Grand Prix. Um, so it's an international event. It's it's a lot of that same athletes from the Olympics that mm -hmm. are competing like in X Games this week, and then they'll go on to Mammoth Lakes right. uh, next week. So Anybody we should be keeping an eye on? Who's, um, who's, yeah, the, who's well, the standout? You know, we do have a Michigan native, Kyle Mack, who won a silver in, in, in uh, 2018. So he's somebody I'm definitely be watching uh, certainly on the female side Jamie An Anderson two-time gold medalist for the US so Kyle Mack can, Jamie Anderson yeah they're good names to watch go team go yeah. well thank you so much right. doctor for yep, the information for and the time us. don't forget that website right there on your screen get to West Michigan Orthopedics get more information on snow safety